Hi, today I'm painting sky behind my picture of Brian Wilson. So I will, I will talk about what I'm doing while I'm painting. I'm just painting sky in there right now with a little bit of cerulean blue blended in, but not very much. As you can see, pretty much the paintbrush is just painting the color white for sky. Okay. I did go shopping today to try and buy another canvas because he's just too big to fit on this canvas. And I'm having to cut him off at the knees in order to keep the picture from looking just comical. And so, um, and so I went to this, I went to Michael's to buy a canvas, but they didn't have any, any canvases that were the size of a standing person. And so I decided to wait and go shopping again in a couple of days and just go ahead and finish this one and paint it. For a while, I was thinking about not painting this and just leaving it as a charcoal sketch um, because I knew that I couldn't put the feet in. I knew I would have to cut him off at the knees because he's too tall to fit in this space. Okay, I'm getting closer and closer to his body now. Just trying to fill up all that sky space. I won't be painting it again. It'll just be painted sky color. And then I'll be able to paint around him and give him a more definite shape. Which you can see I'm starting to do now. I'm starting to get close to the body. I only have one paintbrush today because all my other paintbrushes need to be washed in turpentine. And that's gonna take a long time. I could do a tutorial about washing brushes. If, you, if, if something like that would be helpful to you. But the truth is, washing the brushes, it's just really simple. You just wash it with soap and water, you know, dish soap. But I have to tell you that if you don't wash your brush right away, there's it, it's really hard to get the brush clean later on. So these brushes that I'm using, this clean one here is brand new. And if I do not clean it appropriately when I'm done, then it'll, it'll get ruined, just like all my other brushes. And I am a little bit of a lazy painter. I don't like to clean my brushes, but it's very important that you clean your brushes. So um, do it right away. As soon as you're done painting, wash your brush. Oh, by the way, I do have a product to show you for brush for washing the brush. Just this product here is good. But they sell a lot of different ones. <clears throat> so I'm not I'm not being paid to tell you that either. I just um, I I just use it to clean my brushes. But it, it really doesn't work any better than dish soap. So I'm almost done with the sky. I'm gonna have to put a little bit more blue in the white. So this is the color of the paint that I'm using. You can see it there, okay? Cerulean blue.
The other stuff that I'm putting, adding to the paint is this liquid. Pouring a little bit of liquid into the, on the palette. Okay. And then mixing it together. I do not have a palette knife. I do, but it's covered, it's dirty, and so I don't want to use it till I clean it. And yes, I'm a lazy artist. It's true, I am. But doesn't that just kind of go with artistic temperament, you know? If I was a super organized artist and I always had my paint exactly right and I always washed my brushes, but I didn't have any creativity or passion, I wouldn't necessarily be a better artist. And a lot of artists are kind of, I don't know, maybe they tend to be lazier or they're, they're not as organized, but that doesn't mean they're not good artists. Okay, back up here, This I added some cerulean blue. I don't know if you can see the canvas, the colors, but um, I'm just trying to uniformly spread the sky all over the canvas so I can get back to work on him. This painting sky is relaxing, but it's not terribly interesting. Here's the color I'm putting on there. Very pale white, very pale, very pale blue. Shut that door. Good. Perfect. Thank you. I'm glad. Okay, we're almost done here. Up some more sky up above his head. See that? Painting some sky. What I'm going to do now towards the end of this tutorial is I'm going to take the phone off of there and let you see more stuff. Okay, so here, here is the palette and here is a little tour here we are putting the paint in if you can see that I have not covered up any of his hair or anything yet 